हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू वेटनरी स्टडीज यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम मोहम्मद अजहर मेमन टॉपिक व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे इज रिलेटेड टू आवर लास्ट लेक्चर इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच आवर लास्ट लेक्चर सो आई एम रिक्वेस्टिंग यू टू गो थ्रू दैट लेक्चर सो यू कैन बेटर अंडरस्टैंड टुडे इज लेक्चर सो टुडे इज आवर लेक्चर इज अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू वेटनरी साइंसेस सो इन दिस वी स्टडी अबाउट the fields or subjects which are included in veterinary sciences and their types or sub branches so let's start as we have discussed in our last lecture veterinary sciences is subdivided into three branches number 1 pre clinical or basic veterinary medicine which include veterinary anatomy veterinary histology and veterinary physiology the second one is preventive veterinary medicine and it includes veterinary microbiology veterinary parasitology veterinary pharmacology and veterinary pathology the third one is clinical veterinary medicine it includes periogenology veterinary medicine and veterinary surgery so the thing which i have missed in my last lecture which is preventive veterinary medicine is act as a bridge between the preclinical veterinary medicine and clinical veterinary medicine because in preclinical or basic veterinary medicine we study about the normal anatomy histology and normal physiological functions of animal body in preventive veterinary medicine we study about the causative agents which cause diseases so when a causative agent enter into the animal body it alter the normal anatomy normal histology and normal physiological functions and this lead to clinical aspects of a disease in animal so preventive veterinary medicine is act as a bridge without preventive veterinary medicine you cannot reach to clinical veterinary medicine now veterinary anatomy it is the scientific study of structures of an animal body veterinary anatomy includes gross anatomy in this we study about the structures which we can see by our naked eye such as bones muscles etc the second one is comparative anatomy in this we study about the similarities and differences in the anatomy of the different species For example, if we want to compare the anatomy of the ruminants and equines. In ruminants, they have 13 pair of ribs in their rib cage whereas equines have 18 pairs of ribs in their rib cage. Moreover, if we want to compare the digestive systems of ruminants and whole uh, equines, ruminants have gallbladder in their digestive system whereas equines lack gallbladder in their digestive system systemic anatomy in this we study about the anatomy of the different systems of an animal body separately for suppose we have selected a skeletal system for study then we have to complete it first before going to next system so on the basis of the different systems of an animal body systemic anatomy is divided into osteology in this we study about the bones myology about the muscles arthrology about the joints splanchnology about the visceral organs neuroanatomy about the anatomy of the central nervous system anesthesiology about the sense organs such as ear tongue and eyes veterinary histology it is the scientific study of the microscopic tissues of an animal body veterinary histology includes general histology in this we study about the different tissues of an animal body regardless of its species like there are many species in animal sciences and they have same systems and organs but in general histology we are not going to compare anything between the species we just 
study about the normal microscopic structures of different organs of animal body regardless of species to know about the normal histology of different organs of an animal body systemic histology it is the study of the tissues of the different systems of an animal body similarly in this we study about the histology of each system of an animal body separately cytology it is the study of the different types of a cell of an animal body in cytology as there are various tissues and cells in animal body the study of each cell is said to be cytology histopathology in this we study about the diseased tissue for suppose we have a diseased animal and we took a sample by biopsy procedure and processed in a pathological laboratory and examine under the microscope then it is said to be histopathology paleohistology it is the study of a histology of a fossil animals for suppose we have a we have found a fossil tissue and process in the laboratory and examine under the microscope then it is said to be paleohistology now veterinary physiology it is the scientific study of a biological functions of a different systems of animal body veterinary physiology includes biochemistry in this we study about the different bio biochemical processes which are take place in a living organism so in this we study about the enzymes hormones metabolism of animal body and biochemical processes which are take place in animal body the second one is systemic physiology in this we study about the functions of a different systems of animal body separately so based on the different systems of animal body the systemic physiology is divided into gastroenterology in this we study about the physiology of the digestive system angiology about the cir circulatory system pulmonology about the physiology of the respiratory system cardiology about the physiology of heart neurophysiology about the physiology of the central nervous system nephrology about the functions of the kidney or renal system endocrinology about the functions of endocrine gland such as thymus pituitary gland hypothalamus testes ovaries etc now veterinary microbiology it is the scientific study of a microscopic organism which causes diseases in animals such as bacteria virus fungi veterinary microbiology includes bacteriology and this we study about the bacteria which cause diseases in animals for example anthrax which is caused by staphylococcus aureus virology it is the study about the viruses and virions which cause diseases in animals for example ppr pesti desp petritus ruminans caused by paramyxovirus mycology It is the study about the fungi which cause diseases in animals. Example aspergillosis which is caused by a fungi called aspergillus. Now veterinary parasitology. In this we study about the parasites which are concerned with the animals. Veterinary parasitology includes protozoology. In this we study about the protozoa which cause diseases in animals such as Fabesia, Trypanosoma, Filaria. For example, Surra nagana is a protozoal disease caused by Trypanosoma brucei. Helminthology. In this we study about the helminths or worms which are found in animals. For example, Hemonchosis caused by Hemonchus contortus in small ruminants. entomology in this we study about the insects such as flies ticks 
protozoa worms and insects are further classified in their subclasses so the classification of protozoa helminths and insects will be discussed in their respective lectures veterinary pathology it is a science in which we study about the cause origin and nature of the disease veterinary pathology includes general pathology in this we study about the fundamental processes that are common to more than one tissue or organ there are some processes which are fundamentally common in all the tissues of animal body such as inflammation in inflammation there is a rushing of wbcs and rbcs at the site of inflammation so such type of a study includes in general pathology second one is systemic pathology in this we study the diseases which affect particular systems of animal body for suppose we are studying the disease or diseases of respiratory system then we have to study all the diseases which are concerned with the respiratory system then we should turn to next system and so on clinical pathology it is a branch of pathology used in the diagnosis of a disease by laboratorical method or procedure for suppose we want to diagnose a disease by any laboratorical procedure such as malaria by rapid diagnostic kit method or diabetes by random sugar level so this is clinical pathology comparative pathology it is the study of a diseases of animal and comparing them to those occurring in man so there are certain diseases which are zoonotic which can be transmitted from animal to human tuberculosis is one of them which affect animal as well as human if we compare the pathology of tuberculosis between human and animal then it is said to be comparative pathology experimental pathology it is the study of a disease which is artificially produced in animal this type of a pathology is just for research purpose chemical pathology in this we study those diseases which are caused by toxic substances such as lead which cause lead poisoning in ruminants etc oncology in this we study about the tumors or cancers now veterinary pharmacology it is a science in which we study about the drug in all the aspects like their uses effects and mode of action of drug veterinary pharmacology includes general pharmacology in this we study about the sources route of administration absorption distribution biotransformation excretion of drugs and factor affecting them systemic pharmacology in this we study about those drugs which affect on particular system of animal body for example there are so many drugs which affect on particular system such as proton pump inhibitors which affect on the digestive system anesthetics which affect on central nervous system chemotherapy it is the study about the drugs or chemicals which are used for the treatment of diseases like antibiotics which are used against microorganisms antibacterial against bacterial diseases antiparasitic against parasitic infections antiviral against viral diseases antifungal against fungal diseases anti cancerous against cancer or tumor toxicology and this we study about the adverse effects of chemical substance on living organism now theriogenology it is the study about the reproductive systems of animals such as anatomy physiology pathology 
and clinical practices which are used in animal reproduction. Heriogenology includes reproductive anatomy. In this we study about the anatomy of reproductive systems. Reproductive physiology. In this we study about the biological functions of reproductive systems. Veterinary gynecology. It is the clinical study in which we study about the medical processes which are concerned with the health of female reproductive system. Veterinary obstetrics. It is the study which is concerned with the pregnancy, childbirth and the postpartum period of an animals. If we compare the veterinary gynecology and veterinary obstetrics, veterinary gynecology involves with the care of female health issues, whereas veterinary obstetrics involves the care during preconception, pregnancy, childbirth and immediately after the parturition. Veterinary Andrology it is a science in which we study about the male health problems of reproductive system. Now, veterinary medicine. It is a branch of medicines which deal with the diagnosis, treatment, control and prevention of diseases in animal. Veterinary medicine includes general medicine. In this we study about the clinical examination, diagnosis and general systemic states. General systemic states include toxemia, septicemia, bacteremia, hyperthermia, hypothermia, etc. Systemic medicine. It is the study about the diseases which affect on the particular systems of animal body. Preventive Medicine In this we study about those diseases which are caused by any pathogen such as bacteria, virus, fungi, parasites. Preventive Medicine includes Remnant Medicine in which we study about the diseases of remnants equine medicine about the diseases of horse, donkey, mule, poultry preventive medicine about the poultry diseases, canine and feline medicine about the diseases of dogs and cats, swine medicine about the diseases of pig. Veterinary epidemiology Simply it is the study about the animal population at the time of outbreak of disease or it is the study of the distribution and determinants of health related states and events in a specified population. For example, there is an outbreak of any disease in an animal population in a particular area. The study regarding this outbreak is called epidemiology, like how much area is affected, what is the source of infection and how the disease is transmitted. This is all in veterinary epidemiology. Now veterinary surgery. It is a branch of medicines which deal with the treating of injuries and diseases by any surgical procedure. Veterinary surgery includes radiology. It is a science in which there is a use of imaging technology for the diagnosis and treatment of diseases. It includes radiotherapy, x-ray, ultrasonography, magnetic resonance imaging, computerized tomography scanning. X-ray, ultrasonography, MRI and CT scanning are used for the diagnosis purpose whereas radiotherapy is used for the treatment of cancers or tumors. Anesthesiology it is the science in which we study about the different types of anesthetics which are used in animals during surgery. Simal Animal Surgery In this we study about the surgical procedures which are used in small animals such as dog and cats. Large Animal Surgery In this we study about the different surgical procedures which are used in large animals such as cattle, buffalo, sheep, goat, 
hours etc this is all about today's lecture if you want to learn about the infectious diseases of all the animals then don't miss my next video if you like this lecture kindly press like button if you want the latest updates regarding my youtube channel then press bell icon and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you allah hafiz